Hello, this is Dr. Claudia Kotka from the Washington Institute for Dentistry and Laser Surgery. The question always is, particularly in today's technology, is should we extract the tooth that has had a certain amount of treatment and um, surgical or other clinical treatments over perhaps um, decades and rehabilitate with a bone graft and just consider placing, uh, placement of the dental implant or should we move forward to retain the tooth structure and allow for the options uh, related to keeping that particular natural tooth there and working around the conditions and the nuances that um, certainly um, um, presents um, um, in terms of the abnormalities. The question is a very important question to have because both solutions are equally plausible and of course supported by a lot of research. The one thing that um, might perhaps give a thought process that might be different than what you might be accustomed to hearing is natural tooth structure. It's a lot more communication with respect to the surrounding tissue. And we know that with dental implants, of course, it's a titanium uh, implant or other biomaterial. And of course, we're losing some of that particular um, uh, compensation um, or availability for, um, for the sensory component. We also know that building up the site after an extraction with bone, with grafting material, is very, very, very important. And sometimes the failure of the dental implant is really correlated with that particular staging in terms of after extracting the tooth that, for instance, has been deemed as either non-restorable based on the conditions and the details discussed between the patient and the respective interdisciplinary team, um, the aspect of the bone grafting and the variables that are needed to contribute to an optimal bone grafting result certainly has a massive impact in terms of the surgical placement of the implant and also the longevity of the implant itself. Now, it's not the only variable that one has to remember, but this is one of the variables that oftentimes um, is um, uh, perhaps um, more difficult to understand or perhaps sometimes um, not necessarily um, given as much attention as the actual dental implant surgical component itself. Of course, it's always dependent on sequence, it's always dependent on phasing, and I have to go back to what I always say, every systemic profile for every individual is unique, including the dental presentation. So there's not one case really that is the same like the other. For more information on dental implants, please don't hesitate to contact us at www.dclaserdentist.com.